Welcome back guys, so in this video I will be showing you how to enable AMD's FSR3 frame generation tech for free in Ghost Hunter Part 2 and Banishers Ghost of the New Eden. I will be running these games on my Steam Deck having SteamOS. We will be using a program called DLSS Enabler. It's Beta 8 build version 3.01.000.0. You can download it from GitHub. I will provide its link in the description. It supports FSR frame generation version 3.1. Just click on this blue link. I'll kick things off with Ghost Runner Part 2. First, I'll show you the directory where you need to install DLSS Enabler. I'm on the Steam version of the game. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, Manage. Click on Browse Local Files. Open Ghost Runner 2 folder. Open Binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. This is the directory where you need to install DLSS Enabler. I'll be installing it using Proton Tricks. You can download it for free from this cover store. Launch the application. Select Ghost Runner 2 from here, there it is. Double click. Wait for a few seconds for the next window to pop up. Check this option, select the default fine picks, then click on OK. Check this option, run Explorer, click on OK. This window will pop up. Now you just need to navigate to the directory where DLSS enabler set a file is present. By default, it will be present in downloads directory. There it is, the file that we just downloaded. So just open my computer, open Z drive, then open home folder, let me just zoom in, much better. Now open tech folder, open downloads folder, select the exe file, double click, installer will pop up, I accept, next, next, I have installed Ghost Runner part 2 on an SD card, need to specify the games install directory. Alphabet D represents the SD card in my case. Steam Apps folder, common folder. Here look for Gosana part 2, there it is. Open Gosana 2 folder again. Open Pioneer's folder. Open Win64 folder. That's it. Click on OK. This is the final directory. Next. First option check. Install as a version.tll file. Check this option as well. Enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. Steam Deck has an AMD based GPU. Next. Install. Uncheck this option. Click on finish. Need to add a launch option to the game. Select the game in your Steam library. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. Under launch option, add this line of text. I'll provide it in the description of the video. I am using Gproton version 9-10 as the compatibility layer. We are ready to run the game. I will switch to SteamOS Gaming Mode. Ghost Runner Part 2 is an action platform game played from a first person perspective. The playable character check is very agile, being able to traverse dangerous environments by dashing, jumping, wall running and sliding. He can also utilize a grappling hook to swing through the environment and use sensory boost which briefly slows down time, allowing Jack to strafe through the air. Using my Cosmic Pad Stellaris Gamepad connected to tech via Bluetooth mode. There's Ghost Runner. Launch the game. Select the second option, play with DirectX 12. Otherwise, frame generation setting won't get unlocked. I own the LCD variant of Steam Deck, performance tab. OLED level set to 2. Now, Ghost Runner Part 2 runs very nicely on Steam Deck out of the box. FPS mostly stays within a range of 50 to 60. So, I'll be unlocking the FPS. Already done that. This way, you will be able to get an idea about the performance gain with frame generation enabled. Frame limit, beg your pardon, frame rate limit set to off. A lot tearing setting enabled. That's it. Show the in game settings 800p resolution. Yeah, TLSS option is unlocked. I have enabled it. It's basically XCSS version 1.3. Using its quality preset, frame generation disabled for the time being. Settings. Most of them are set to medium. Post process quality set to high. We think of. And just change the settings to high. Why not? Settings applied. Real time gameplay. 
block the attacks there using my sword. Here FPS is close to 55. Now enable frame generation. On, apply. Back to the game. Okay, FPS increased to around 90. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. That jank is gone. See? Input delay is not an issue. Jump. Dash. Okay, I need to move the left stick as well, like this. My bad. Attack by pressing the right trigger. Block. This game requires quick input. Let's play the game. Run along the wall. Springs of Poirier side. Graphics look gorgeous. Cyberpunk. In the theme. Oh my god. Slashed his head. Steam Deck OLED variant will benefit more from this mod. Its display supports up to 90Hz refresh rate. Kill them. <laughs> Three guys. No hitching at all. So impressive. Sensory boost. Use it again. Jumping across the gaps. Oh, don't need to be careful. Boost towards this guy. Got him. Now I'll be testing the next skin. We'll be running the demo of Banishers Ghost of New Eden. I have installed it on Steam Deck's internal SSD. Show you the directory where you need to install. DLSS enabler. Select the game in your library. Right click. Manage. Browse local files. This is the install directory. Open NWD folder. Open binaries folder. Win64 folder. This is the final directory where you need to install DLSS enabler. Again launch Proton Tricks. Select Banishes, click on OK and just zoom in. Check this option, select the default pine bricks, OK. As I have installed the game on Dex internal SSD, I need to enable one setting from here. Select this option, run bind CFG. Click on drives tab here and check this option, show dot files, apply, OK. Now select this option, run explorer. This window will pop up, open my computer C drive, home. Deck. Here look for downloads folder, there it is, open it. Run the set of file corresponding to DLSS enabler. Installer, I accept, next, next. Specify the game's directory, click on browse. As the game is installed on Dex internal SSD, I'll open Z drive. Open home folder, open deck folder. Open dot local folder, open share folder. Open steam folder. Open Steam Apps folder. Open Common folder. Look for Banishers folder. There it is. Open NWD folder. Open Binaries folder. Win64 folder. This is the final directory. Click on Next. First option check install as a version.tll file. Check this option as well. Enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. Wait for the process to complete. Uncheck this option. Click on finish. Need to add a launch option to the game. 
select the game in your steam library click on the settings fog here properties there is the launch option we use the same launch option in the previous game using G Proton version 9-10 as the compatibility layer ready to run the game switch to streamers gaming mode Banishers is a third person action role playing game in this game we control a pair of ghost hunters named Antia and Redman the latter of whom ends up being a ghost himself upon reaching New Eden our choices affect the game story find the demo of the game this game is more demanding than Ghost Hunter Part 2 performance type early level set to 2 I have overclocked the index display from 60 to 70 Hz. Frame rate limit and refresh rate set to 70. That's it. In game settings, display mode set to full screen. Screen resolution is set to 800p by default. You need to change it to 720p, otherwise, the game's interface will flicker. Anti aliasing. I'll just set it to DLSS, which is basically XSS version 1.3 using its balance preset frame generation disable for the time being motion blur disable and using the medium preset shadows set to low apply there's entire check out the input response 40 fps gameplay is a bit choppy stream Deck display does not support vrr you don't want the game to be running with a variable fps like this I'll just enable frame generation on apply FPS increase to around 60 can observe the added amount of smoothness camera animation is smoother now with frame generation enabled show you some combat ghost small fries Another one. Quick attack. Block by holding the L1 key. I really like using my Cosmic Bash Stellaris gamepad. It has clicky bumper buttons. Better visibility here. Hitting the GP bottleneck. Power uses 25 watts. Pushing steam back to its limit. Should be getting a playtime of around 1 hour 45 minutes on a full battery. Dead end. This sequence is very demanding. Action going on in the background. Game's heart is not flickering. Frame generation works very nicely in this game. It's good to see such a demanding game running this well on Steam Deck. LCD variant. More post. Banishment. Let's use this. Special attack. 57 to 65 FPS. That's it with the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.